Hello. This piece is going to be about Otslan. There is a need to clear some things up because there's a lot of misinformation, disinformation, and people simply coming to the wrong conclusions. Okay, this is going to, I'm going to talk about, well, first of all, the legend that surrounds Otslan first. Basically, what it is is about where the Mexica people came from and where they went to. For those who don't know who the Mexica were, well, you have, you've heard of the Aztecs. They were the nobility class of the Mexica. So, what is with this uh, Mexica? What is the importance? Well, let me explain it this way. The name Mexica, that tribal name, turned into Mexicano when the Spaniards came in, took over. That word in turn morphed into Chicano and Mexicano, which in English is Chicano and Mexican. Okay, now, the legend states that the people came from a place called Atzlan. If you look at that legend and the oral histories of, of the people from north and south of the present day border, and if you look at the linguistic and anthropological evidence, it points to the southwest, centered around the, the Four Corners area. Now keep in mind, this, the anthropological and linguistic studies are basically western fields of study. They don't have a, a, a stake in, in um, some kind of homeland. The legend may or may not have mentioned a return to Atzlan. It's open to debate. I've heard that it does mention, but I'm no expert on the situation. In any case, the, the legend does not mention, nor does uh, the, our, our political thought include any re-establishment. No reconquest of Atzlan. Without taking over, there is no force. There is no violence involved. You know, in any case, millions of people have already returned. It's already come true. It's a done deal. Nothing to be afraid of. There's, there's no, you know, tanks in the street. This is how this alleged threatened takeover is such total bogus nonsense. How could we take on the U.S. military? You know, the U.S. military has, is, they say, has as much military might as the entire rest of the world put together. What are we going to do? Throw nuclear hot sauce to their Gatlin gun equipped A-10s? Different people have been on to have a history of being on the receiving end of those goddamn guns. Such as the people who remember wounded knee. There ain't no way we want to be in front of them things again. And the other thing, even if push came to shove, I can guarantee you we don't want to be doing the Hiroshima Nagasaki dance, if you know what I mean. Believe me, they would do it. No doubt about it. And in regard to this so-called illegal immigration issue, well, we believe in the right to return as indigenous people. That is, we don't think we have to submit to an enduring conquest. And also, as per the provisions of the Treaty of Guadalupe, that treaty which ended the the war between the U.S. And, and Mexico at about the time of the gold rush, just after. We got the right to come and go. Now, for those people who are purporting that there is a grand conspiracy to return, don't listen to that nonsense. Most people have come here for employment, to do those jobs that are wide open because no one else wants to do them. You know, okay. As far as I'm concerned, Aslan is already reborn. It's a done deal. 
They said, hey, so, so what's the problem? California is still part of the United States? There's no tank standing guard in, in downtown Albuquerque to guard against the, the Mexican insurgents? Basically what it is, it's a, it's a region, a non-governmental region. Some might say it's akin to a state of mind. We are not demanding others leave. Sure, sometimes if somebody gets races on our hides, we can shoot back. You know, don't like it here? You don't have to stay here. Love it or leave it. You get all races at us and it's like, well, we belong here, you don't. But if you're cool, we don't have a problem. Cool people get along with each other. We also have not forgotten our native relations. You know, if there is any claim to the land, their claims would be senior because they hung on to the land. They fought to hang on to as much as they could. We are claiming where we came from. We are not claiming ownership. And besides that, the people in the Atlan movement are progressives. They're not a bunch of racist, militant lunatics. As progressives, we know the importance of having a spiritual and enlightened attitude towards others and an understanding of the Mother Earth. We know that peaceful coexistence coexistence is the way. There's no racism, there's no hate. You can have pride without being hateful of others. And we also know that there shouldn't be any violence to the earth. You know, environmentalism. It's gonna destroy our land. The bottom line is there's no secret plan. It's not some grand conspiracy. It's just things that have just come to pass. Now, if you may or may not believe in prophecy, but generally the notion of prophecy is something that is going to happen. It's something that is just people's fate, not something you can control. Okay, so don't be deceived by the those types. Because remember, those are the same types that will be the darlings of Fox News. Or as some some ancestors would have said, watch out for the fox. It can be a real trickster. Don't trust it. 